Halo Infinite has been delayed to an unspecified date in 2021. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here today. It has been announced on Twitter and other social media platforms that Halo Infinite has been delayed to 2021. So let's go ahead and take a look at their official statement. Today, I wanna to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We have made a difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impact affecting all of us this year. I want to acknowledge all the hard work from our teams at 343 Industries who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. We know that this will be disappointing to many of you, and we share in that sentiment. The passion and support the community has shown over the years has been incredible and inspiring. We want nothing more than to play our games with the community this holiday. The extra time will let us finish the critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for your support and understanding. Chris Lee, the studio head of Halo Infinite. Now, while I'm not completely shocked that they have delayed the game, I was a little bit surprised when I read it. They had made such a big deal about this game launching with the Xbox Series X and essentially what we're probably going to see as the Series S later on. And I don't believe them really when they say that it is mainly COVID related as to why they've been having issues developing the game. When it comes to the previous titles with the Halo franchise and just looking at game development in general, when a game is releasing in two to three months, usually that last six months to a year, the game is mostly in a playable state and they're just doing a little bit of polishing and a little bit of tightening up gameplay and making sure that everything works properly. I think that it was very telling that they said that they weren't going to have a flighting program or a beta for this. I think that was the first canary in the coal mine that something may not have been up to par. And also that we haven't heard still or seen any events scheduled to show off the multiplayer. That is something that they're going to be making a big deal out of. They did come out and say that it was going to be free to play, but only after that was leaked. Myself, personally, I think that a lot of this delay comes down to the fact that they received a lot of scrutiny that the demo that they showed off did not look next-gen. It did not look impressive. While I did like the look of it and that the art style, I think, is a step in the right direction, you could tell technically just by going back and looking at the demo and seeing the pop-in and seeing stuff kind of being rendered as the player was moving through the world, you could tell that the game was not in a technically polished state. And they tried using the excuse of, oh, well, it's an old demo build. And the first time we heard this excuse, it was it's months old. And then eventually it came out that, well, it's actually just several weeks old too. We don't really actually know how old the build was. I'm sure that it was probably the best representation of the game and the engine and everything that they wanted to show off at the time. But it is very telling with the performance of the engine in the demo that it certainly wasn't ready. And I'll give them credit though. I'll give them credit for delaying the game so that it meets a quality expectation that us, them, and pretty much everybody has for gaming in general. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be the same type of situation that the Master Chief Collection was in when it originally launched on the Xbox One, where there was absolutely no way they did not know that that game was not broken, and they shipped it anyway. I give them credit here for taking a step back. Even as big of a deal as it was with the game launching with the Series X, they made the decision to delay the game into 2021. Now, we don't have a definite date, and we probably won't get one this year. I assume that we're probably going to get one maybe early January, whenever they decide to do their next Inside Xbox episode. But then again, if the COVID situation really is what is affecting their game development, then 
I guess it really depends on when that starts to get under control, if it ever does. But as always, don't forget, in order to be part of the conversation and have your voice heard, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment in the section down below. If you guys are new around here, check out some of my previous videos. I upload content weekly. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. I've got my social media, my Twitch, and of course, the links to support the channel are there as well. But until next time, everyone, thank you all for joining me here today, and I'll see all of you in the next video.